Mike Davis, president and founder of the Article 3 Foundation, joins us. Sir, what are the implications of that final statement? Yeah, so let's get this straight. The FBI knew that then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton had this illegal home server with America's most classified secrets, almost certainly hacked by our worst enemies. The FBI knew that this server contained evidence of the Clinton Foundation's illegal pay-for-play bribery schemes, and the FBI knew that Hillary Clinton destroyed this home server, obstruction of justice in the face of a congressional subpoena. And now we're finding out from the New York Times what the FBI did about this. What did the FBI do? They destroyed the remaining evidence. This is just unbelievable what the FBI does, and it shows a pattern from 2016, 2020, 2024, where the FBI is absolutely interfering in presidential elections to try to throw them to the Democrats. Sir, the Times article repeatedly emphasized that, quote, FBI agents and prosecutors knew this investigation into the Clinton Foundation was a dead end. The Durham report laid out that, quote, senior FBI and department officials placed restrictions on the investigation into the Clinton Foundation so that, quote, essentially no investigative activities occurred for months leading up to the 2016 presidential election. Do you believe that these two points are related? Absolutely. Let's Yes, absolutely. Let's look at why the Hillary Clinton investigation was a dead end. The FBI colluded with 2016 presidential candidate Hillary Clinton, President Obama, Vice President Biden, the Obama Attorney General, the Obama CIA director, and others to launch the baseless Russian collusion hoax, crossfire hurricane investigation that hobbled the Trump presidency for three years. And they did this to try to distract from Hillary Clinton's illegal server and pay for play bribery allegations. So yes, it, it, of course they tried to hobble the Hillary investigation. They actually worked to cook up this illegal investigation on Trump. Now, what would have occurred had the Clinton Foundation actually been held to the same standard that the phony Trump Russia Russia hoax was held to by the DOJ and the FBI? Well, I mean, it, Hillary Clinton would be in jail for obstruction of justice. She had a home server illegally when she was the Secretary of State, uh, and on this home server was evidence of a pay-for-play scheme, several pay-for-play bribery schemes with foreign governments to the Clinton Foundation. She gets a congressional subpoena. She destroys the server. That is obstruction of justice. She should be in prison for that. President and founder of Article 3 Foundation, Mike Davis, thank you so much for joining me. We appreciate your time. We appreciate your insight. Thank you.